Hey everyone, it's Jack Brindley here with another episode of Prospect Peak for Buffalo Fanatics. Today we're switching up, we're going offense. We're going to be looking at running back Ronald Jones from USC. Ronald Jones is a guy who clocks in at 6 feet, 200 pounds. Some upside that I like to stay from, he has some pretty admirable speed, solid yard you have to carry. His open field running ability is pretty good, and he's got smooth routes that can be taken advantage of in the NFL. Um, some quick facts about him. He rushed for over 1,000 yards in this previous season at Southern California. He was a first-team All-Pac-12 member and third-team AP All-American. Some downside, unfortunately. His patience with, uh, with his running ability is a little bit fickle. It's not something that is really consistent in his game. And block following can be an issue because he likes to hit those holes really fast. Uh, he doesn't have a ton of experience in my eyes, um, but he did break the USC uh, rookie rushing uh, record as a freshman while he did not start as a true freshman. I'm going to be taking a look at two games. We're going to be taking a look at the Cotton Bowl with Ohio State, and then we're going to be looking at a game against Stanford later in the season. So USC likes around one running back offense. Now we're going to watch how he hits a hole right here. So... It opens up. All he has to do is shake a move and get past this defender. Unfortunately, he's not patient enough, and he kind of just stumbles. But he does have very fairly good balance, and he stays on his feet and gets almost to a first down for the Trojans. Again, not necessarily a bad thing, but it could be worked on and ironed out once he gets the NFL. Now we're going to go up to 37 seconds and look at a little bit of blocking ability that it is isn't the worst but is a little bit questionable so here's Ronald Jones right here now he is uh, he is pass blocking right here and we're against Nick Bosa right here one of the best defensive ends in the country unfortunately his size does get a little bit the best of him and he puts his head down and we have a sack by Bosa Again, not something that's, you know, of major concern, but something that definitely could be worked on. We're going to go up to some of his impressive speed at 50 seconds right here. So here we are in the backfield. He's in a pretty deep back set. All right. Now watch this. He's going to follow these blocks well. So both these guys are covered in the defensive backfield. And he uses speed to get past his defender who broke the line of scrimmage. And he just bursts up field for a first down. Very impressive. Very impressive. His speed is pretty underrated in my opinion. Something that should be used as a fairly strong case for Mr. Jones. Now we're going to flip over to Stanford film. And take a look at... No, we're already at 255. Okay. So, one running back set. With Mr. Sam Darnold. So patient here, we got a screen. And now he has to maneuver his way around this defender, gets through, keeps using his speed, driving his feet, and gets to the next level, getting a first down for the Trojans. We're going to look at 321. And these are two of his best runs in the game back to back for the Trojans and Mr. Ronald Jones. So one running back set, he's pretty deep right here. Stretch right. So pretty good blocks, but this guy was left unattended. What does he do? He shakes a move, and he hits that hole and just bursts up field, spins, keeps his feet moving. That's a first down for the Trojans. Now we're gonna look at another run. Jones gets the ball, and he just keeps moving his feet, spinning and spinning and spinning, and squeaks his way into a first down. Very, very impressive in my opinion. Ronald Jones is a guy who is a, he is a first round talent in my opinion. Unfortunately, other positional groups are going to get priority over this running back, as running back isn't a huge need in one of the years where running backs, this is the most solid running back class in the in the history of the NFL, in my personal opinion. So I would see him being taken in the second round or possibly early in the third. Um, 
Ronald Jones is a guy that teams should be looking out for in this NFL draft. But this has been another episode of Prospect Peak with Jack Brindley. If you like what you heard here today, leave a, leave a like, comment, or share with your friends and family. This has been a Buffalo Fanatics production. Be sure to follow us on Instagram at the Buffalo Fanatics, all one word, and on Twitter at Buff Fanatics. Remember, the diamonds are in the rough, but the real money is found in Buffalo. Let's go, Bills, baby. Thank you.